we hope that we can give artists like their dream project because we can defy gravity and we don't necessarily have to have performers or lights or anything. It's just a person walking up with their phone. My name is Jen Clay. I'm a co-founder of Interactive Initiative. Hi, I'm uh, Samuel Lopez de Victoria and I'm the founder of Interactive Initiative. We started Interactive Initiative because Sam is a very altruistic person. <laughs> he, he really wants to teach and um, we think about artists who maybe are frustrated or maybe at a dead end in their practice or even like catch 22s where like you need to have work already made to do like an open call. Like sometimes that happens with like public art or like video work. We saw an opportunity in a space like primarily in South Florida that there wasn't really a facilitator for artists to be able to make interactive artwork. And there were so many opportunities to be able to do that. So we kind of wanted to step in and be kind of a helping hand for artists to be able to get there. We also really love video art. Yes. Sir. And we're like, you too can be a video yeah, artist. Yeah with digital art like a big opportunity there that even like kind of goes beyond the technology itself is uh, interaction. If they paint then um, like that can be a stop-motion animation and then that can be a video and then you can project it on a building and it can also be included in a in a video game. We primarily try to mentor them and show kind of show them uh, how to use tools in an intuitive way so that it's like more a part of their practice rather than like this obtuse thing that like they have to learn. When we were telling artists like what they can do in the, in the augmented reality space, we showcased to them that you're not limited by the physical world, the rules, and they can kind of set their own rules. So something can be grounded or it can be floating. So right now, Sam's created this AR app called Tropy. The app is free. Sam worked with 12 artists for the Hollywood area, mostly centered around Arts Park. He's made over 100 virtual works in the app. So it's similar to kind of like Pokemon Go where you're, you, you interact with the work, you can collect the work on the app and learn about the artist. So you come out here to Hollywood and pick up artwork. And then what you can do with like the artwork that you've collected so far, you can actually place it around you. So here, I'm just gonna choose like this artist, Alyssa Alfonso, who's a local artist. I can also place um, a different art piece if I wanted to. So you can place like these little palm trees. Uh, put a little like flamingo over here. If you're looking at artists and you wanna find out more about that artist, you can choose one of the artworks and press this button and it actually has like a little info card. When you don't own an artwork, but you wanna like get a specific one, you can search for it in the menu here and then click on it and it'll show you where you can actually pick up that artwork. You can kind of make your own like little gallery space of like work you've collected and just kind of be your own curator. We actually worked with local artists to create a number of their work, but digitally, and, and most of these artists don't work digitally. So we have like sculptors, we have uh, illustrators, painters, fiber uh, artists, fiber artists, musicians. We have poets also. We've helped them translate their work into a three-dimensional interactive piece that is publicly available to anybody to to interact with. We're hoping that we can expand the app from Hollywood to Miami, uh, Miami Beach, um, even like like Pompano. What helps is getting feedback from like the local community and actually hearing what it is that they're looking for and then we can create that programming for them either be remote or uh, when like doable like uh, in person.